Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is Chad here with another In the OT podcast for BetHubSportsBlog.com. Some very interesting news today coming out of the Olympics as Cameron Vanderberg, the swimmer from South Africa who just won a gold medal in the 100-meter breaststroke, went on record admitting that he cheated. Yes, that is correct. On his own admission, without being investigated or having any sort of pressure put on him by outside forces, he would go on to admit that he does take some extra dolphin kicks at the start of the race when you're really only permitted to have one he likes to sneak in an extra couple of them giving him three in total and uh, you know when I first read this headline I said oh boy here we go someone actually coming out on record and admitting to performance enhancing drugs because when you think of cheating in sports that's always the first thing that comes to mind not some little ticky tacky rule like this so before we get into breaking down the whole moral side of things here I do want to say that I am uh, quite impressed by the fact that he came out here on his own accord and admitted this. And I think it really uh, just sort of proves the bigger picture of what needs to be analyzed here. Because if you really read into his comments, which I'll I'll read out here in a couple of seconds, I think you can sort of see the angle he's taking. And this is what he said, quote unquote, if you're not doing it, you're falling behind. It's not obviously, shall we say, the moral thing to do, but I'm not willing to sacrifice my personal performance and four years of hard work for someone that is willing to do it and get away with it. It's got to sort of it's got to the sort of point where if you're not doing it, you're falling behind or you're giving yourself a disadvantage so everyone's pushing the rules and pushing the boundaries. So if you're not doing it, you're not trying hard enough. So basically what he's saying here is everybody does this little uh, dolphin kick thing here and gets an extra couple of pump fakes uh, more than they're permitted to. And if you're not doing it, you're pretty much falling behind the eight ball being the one person that does not cheat, whereas everybody else does. And from that perspective, I have no problem doing uh, what with him doing this here, you can say that it's tainted all you want, but if every single person is cheating, then to me, they're all on the same level playing field. The whole reason that we call people out for cheating is because most of the time we believe that it's giving them an advantage, that it's putting them on another level, an unlevel playing field, giving them an advantage that the other people do not have. But if everybody's doing the same thing and nobody's being enforced for it, then how can you really say that he has a substantial advantage over everybody else? And we're not talking about performance enhancing drugs. We're talking about little tic tac rule here with the little extra couple of dolphin kicks. And at the end of the day, like I always say in all sports, if you have a rule that's put out there and it's not being properly enforced, of course athletes are going to push boundaries. It's no different than someone having an infraction, a foul, or a penalty in any other sport, trying to see what they can get away with until a referee calls them out for it. And a rule is only as good as how hard it's in, as enforced. So if the swimming uh, officials do not want to call this on them, then these guys are going to continue to expose a pathetic rule that they have in place. If they don't want to put video replay underneath the water to check up on this stuff, then that is their own problem. Who knows? Maybe something like this is a wake-up call to them, and it will be changed in the future. So we can all sit here and say tainted all day long, but how is it tainted if everybody else is doing the exact same thing here? It's not performance enhancing drugs. We're talking about a little extra couple of dolphin kicks here. I see nothing wrong with it, and I think it's great to see his attitude come through with colors here, stating the fact that he's poured his life, his heart, and his soul into this, and he doesn't want to fall behind because other people are abusing this rule and just wants to keep up with the level playing field. So as far as I'm concerned, Cameron Vanderberg is a very worthy 100-meter back breaststroke gold medalist and world record holder at this time and I think everybody just needs to lighten up and start calling him out as being this big time cheater and someone who's breaking all these rules and is uh, making a mockery of the sport no the mockery is on the sport itself for having this stupid rule and not getting it enforced properly Chad here with another in the OT podcast for betupsportsblog.com enjoy that gold medal Mr. Vanderberg